Good morning, everybody. My name is Ryan Gilkerson, lead creative here at Company 119, and this is The Coffee Cup, our daily podcast that talks about everything from digital marketing to sales to just general tips and advice that can help you have a successful business and get the most out of your digital marketing platform. We've got a lot of new friends on our social media pages over the last few days. We want to thank all of you for joining us. If this is your first time watching, we hope that you make it a daily part of uh, your daily routine. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about why there are reasons to consider not building your own website. Uh, What's happened is there's a lot of website platforms, including WordPress, which is a format that we use. It's a platform that we use. Wix is another one that are website builders that make it appear like creating a website is a snap of the fingers. But the reality is there's a lot more to building a website than sometimes those platforms let you realize. And there are some really significant reasons why you should consider having someone help you out with your website that has some expertise and some experience. So number one, this is probably the most important reason of them all. Google might not like your work. I know it might look nice. You might have some nice pictures up. You know, it might be, uh, it might have some great content that you've written, some great blogs. But there's some things to consider with Google that affect the way that Google ranks your page based on how it performs. Google is really concerned about user experience and they want to make sure that they're sending people to websites that work properly. Um, Google makes money when people go to Google to find out where to find other information so they want people to keep returning back to them. In order to do that, they want to keep referring them to great websites. If your site doesn't meet the criteria, they will not rank you and they can even penalize you and push you further down in the rankings. Some things to consider are your site speed. There might be little things in the JavaScript, little things in the image sizes, etc. that make it so that your site is running slow, especially on mobile. That's a huge consideration for Google. If it doesn't work right, they're not going to send people there. There's just a lot of things that look like they're working okay, but behind the scenes they're not, and that can cause Google to say, not today, we're gonna move you down the rankings. Number two, you might not understand the importance of a lot of design principles. There's things like keeping images above the fold. Where should I put my calls to action? Uh, What should happen on different sections of the page? How should it be laid out? Does it look good visually? There's just a lot of design principles and design aspects, and some of those design aspects, again, spill back into the functionality of the site. There's a lot that goes into laying out a website. It's not as simple as just, I'll just put a bunch of information on there, it's gonna look great and work great just doesn't work that way. You need somebody that knows what they're doing with design. Also, you're going to need more arrows in your quiver than just your site builder. Here at Company 119, for example, when we're building a site, we don't just have our web builder like WordPress up while we're working on it. We've got lots of plugins. We've got photo editing editing software. We've got Photoshop. We've got premium plugins. We've got rank tracking, tracking software. We've got marketing automation software that we have. There's just a lot of different types of software that you need to really make a functioning website, and it's expensive. We'll take that cost on as an agency and take care of that for you. If you try to do it on your own, it can get very, very pricey if you're just going to be working on your website. So you just don't have the tools to compete with an agency that's putting together these websites on a daily basis. Also, you've got other things to do with your time than build a website. This is probably the most important thing. If you're running your own business or what, or even if you're just working for another business as a marketing director, for example, you've got a lot of other things to do with your day than sit there and build a website. It takes a long time. There are revisions that happen. There's different elements that have to be put in place that take time individually as as well as the over, you know, encompass, all encompassing aspects of putting together a website. It's not easy to do and it is going to eat up a lot of your day. So if you want to balance the books, manage your people, sell some product, meet with customers, meet with clients. If you want to do all of that type of stuff, you don't have time to sit there and play web designer. Let another company or an agency do that to take that off of your plate. Finally, what happens when you're done? What happens when you get done with your website and a month from now something goes wrong and it's not working the way that you want to? Yeah, you can watch YouTube videos. Guess what? That leaves you with even more time that you've got to find to make adjustments on your site. Yeah, you could call a help desk. Have you ever tried to call the help desk at a tech company? God bless us. We're wonderful people, but tech companies often take a long time to help you if you're just using their software platform. If you have an agency, chances are you're going to have a case manager, a project manager. They're going to be working on what you need, your customer service 
service uh, help that you need, your tech support that you need. You're going to get somebody to help you and they're going to be able to fix and resolve issues a lot faster than you will on your own with a lot less headache. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of reasons why people think that they can build websites on their own and make them work. The reality of it is you're not going to be nearly as effective if you try to do it on your own as you would if you allow somebody like, I don't know, Company 119 to help you out. So we hope we've given you some reasons to consider not building your own site and yet you've learned a little bit about the pratfalls that happen with building your own site. Before you finish your first cup of coffee, then your competition will all day. To all of our new friends, we'll see you tomorrow. We thank you for watching.